Hello out there, YouTubers. This is Jack again here at the Talk School of English in Phnom Penh, the capital city of beautiful Cambodia. What we're going to talk about today is when words mean the opposite. Now, in all languages, people tend to do this sort of thing, but English speakers have really mastered this. It's called being facetious. I say one word when what I really mean is the exact opposite. Let's look at some examples. <clears throat> now, I could say, that's a bad looking motorcycle. So if I see you on your brand new motorcycle and it looks clean and new and fantastic, I could say, man, that motorcycle looks bad, brother, it's bad. What it really means is it's good, I like it. Because it's not really so much the words that I choose as much as how I say the words, how they sound when you hear them that lets the listener know how I really feel. Let's look at our next, next example. I could say, great, I lost my keys. Well, if I'm on my way to work in the morning, I need to lock up my house, I need to start my car or my motorbike, it is not great that I've lost my keys, but great, I've lost my keys. That lets you know that I feel not so great. I have no money. Lovely. So let's say I take you to a restaurant, I buy you lunch, now it's time to pay, and I reach in my pocket, I forgot my money. Oh, that's just lovely. Well, it's actually it's not. When I think of something lovely, I think that's something that's pretty, that looks nice, something that sounds good. But remember, it's how I say the word. I have no money. Lovely. It means it's not lovely. And finally, my last example. I failed my math test. I'm such a genius. Well, the word genius means somebody who is super smart up here. Often the smartest people we'll ever meet in this world qualify as geniuses. If I fail my math test, well, I'm anything but a genius. I'm the opposite. So always remember, sometimes if it sounds a little confusing what somebody said, perhaps they're being facetious. It means they're using an opposite word to explain how they really feel inside. Now don't forget, you can always still find us on our Facebook page, also known as the Talk School of English. I hope these videos are helpful. If they are, please give me a like. And as always, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.